Good morning. It's a privilege to be asked to share the Brunson family love affair with Epiphany. How we got here, how it's enriched our lives, and why our church has never been more relevant and needed. Pam, Casey, Colin, and I moved into town in the year 2000. We were spiritual in nature, but we were not regular churchgoers. But we also knew that seeking a church community could provide some connective tissue to our new village. Pam and I were married at St. Matthew's in Pacific Palisades, so we knew that the Episcopalian version would be a good place to start. God worked his magic one winter Sunday in 2001. Epiphany had it all. The elegant sights and sounds of the Episcopal liturgy and tradition, a compelling and challenging homily delivered with nuance, and of course a vibrant membership. One by one, folks put a hand out and gauged with a twinkling eye and made sure to say, have a great week and see you next Sunday. And then the good stuff started to happen. We grew up together with several Epiphany families Casey and Colin found lifelong friends here through choristers, Sunday school, youth group, Camp Stevens. Pam and I both served on the Bishop's Committee. We were here for getting Mitchell Hall built, the vineyard planted, and stewarding the music guild. The community took my mom, Joanne, in after my dad passed and it have enveloped her in welcoming arms. But to get more intimate and ethereal, this community has provided our family a compass pointed due north, a grace and a patience that allows us to make sense, lift up, and provide unconditional love to all we meet. And that can only be engaged when you make the spiritual investment of heart, mind, and soul in a special community like Epiphany. You see, the greater body of our church provides us this blueprint of liturgy, reason, and tradition. And the mission of Epiphany has delivered this blueprint through the collective us. One robust hymn, one candlelight vigil, one twinkle of the eye, and one unlikely coffee and donut conversation at a time. The Episcopal Church in the USA understands this. I joyously urge you to view Bishop Curry's short video entitled The Jesus Movement. It will energize you, comfort you, challenge you, and enlighten you in a liberating and graceful way. We all acknowledge the turbulence and the volatility of our current world. It hit us hard this past week and we're all searching for clarity. Although tools have made our lives easier and faster, we are also more acutely aware of pain, injustice, and dislocation. Through our church and its teachings, it's in our DNA to ethically and steadfastly questioned untethered progress while also illuminating and intervening on behalf of the dispossessed. And epiphany is ground zero for delivering that message. Hank Mitchell once said thank you to me in a very, very, very powerful way for just some small item that I did. He said, what you just did will make a huge positive difference to many you will never meet. I believe that we at Epiphany are uniquely equipped to make that difference. In an instant, our sanctuary was surrounded by firestorm and miraculously survived. There is scorched earth and the requisite broken hearts to mend 
but this week there is also a sense of purpose amongst us. I take that as a sign that there is great work to do for generations to come. To those who have been given much, much is expected. It is with God's grace we are provided for each day. My prayer is that you make the connection that our family has made and that you are lifted up in everlasting love through your gift to Epiphany. With grace and love, the Brunsons.